Hello. You like the flowers? And yeah, before you ask, I am taking the medication. How are you, Anthony? It's been a long time. I'm great, actually. You? Thank you for that beautiful arrangement. I see you haven't lost your sense of humor. Well, you gotta have a sense of humor in life, right? You taught me that. And how is life? Good, good. Well, I'm separated. Me and Carmella. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. Well, I always thought I saw some good things there. Two healthy kids. Other than that, look, the reason I called, I'd like you to have dinner with me. Since we're not in therapy no more and I'm a bachelor again. That's very thoughtful of you. Unfortunately, because of our prior clinical relationship, I just can't do it. What, eat? You must be a toothpick. You know what I mean. See, I, I knew you were going to say something like that. I can't, Anthony. I'm sorry. You know, I, I waited a respectable period or whatever before making this call. Well, then you realize yourself there's something not quite right about us dating. No, I'm not undeterred by this. We will talk again. Thank you for the flowers. And the detergent. And the detergent. Of course, what's wrong with me? I don't know. But we'll find out. Leave it to Dr. Tony. Look, the real reason I'm here is to confront you in a positive way about taking our relationship in that other direction. Why did you have to be underhanded? I don't find that appealing, frankly. I was going to ask you out for coffee or something, but I didn't think you'd go. I'll pay for the hour. That goes without saying. Forget that. I was listening to that guy on, on TV, Dr. Phil, and he was talking about a similar situation, and he said that you could if you wanted to. There's no set rules. It's basically about malpractice, and you probably couldn't get sued. That's not the point. This is the place where we've been most honest with each other. And that's the way I always liked it. So that being said, if you don't like me personally, or the cut of my jib, or my face, or whatever, then the matter will end here, and I will never ask you again. You can be honest. I like you, Anthony. I know you have a very nice face. Working on the way, too, by the way. Good. Explain to me, okay, why this is a matter of such importance to you. There must be plenty of women out there. You're different from what's out there, not to mention being drop-dead beautiful. My training teaches me to go fairly quickly to the idea that what you really want is to come back to therapy. Jesus Christ almighty, come on, will ya? Your marriage of 20-something years has collapsed. No doubt there are issues with your children. Why can't I do something that's just for me, for a change? It would be for you. Well, I want you. And not just for the smart things you say. I, 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 want, I want your skin. I want your mouth. I want your eyes. You project all these qualities onto me. You don't know me. This is what happens between doctor and patient. Don't do that. Out of respect for this office, Forget about the way that Tony Soprano makes his way in the world. That's just to feed his children. There's two Tony Sopranos. You've never seen the other one. That's the one I want to show to you. 